Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, June 3rd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at ARK Innovation ETF. And as you can see, we're down, well, just a bit. We're still down. It's still basically turning around here when they found the uh, resistance at the 200 moving average. Uh, but at the moment, we're finding with support at the 20 exponential moving average. But if the 20 exponential gives away, then we could see a drop all the way down to the 300 moving average, drop of roughly 11.43% uh, uh, to the downside. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that we hit the top of the bullish band, created the shooting star, and now it looks like we are turning around. It does move gradually, has moved gradually to the upside, probably also will move gradually to the downside. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is bullish, the RSI is bullish, the CCI is uh, is also bullish territory, but the stochastic has completely turned around. So Tesla is not doing very well, and uh, Tesla is a very important uh, stock for this ETF. And as long as that is going to be the case, this will probably continue to fall very similar to uh, Tesla's fall. So let's look at DVI. So DVI is up 0.10% at the current stage. Uh, not a lot of movement, to be fairly honest. And in general, not a lot of movement in the market, except for some uh, specific stocks that just go bogus at this point. So if you look at uh, MACD, you can see that it's bearish. We can see that the RSI is bullish, the CCI is flat, and the stochastic is bullish at this point. We're hanging around just at the 20 exponential. Break right below here could open the door to the bottom of the bullish band right above the 40 exponential and drop off roughly 1.9% to the downside or if we rally to the upside we could rally up towards the top of the range here which is roughly 1.19% to the upside so let's look at VTI so VTI has rallied not a lot 0.03% to the upside but we're still rallying um, if we do fall from here we'll probably find major support at the 20 exponential the 40 and the 50 break below the 50 that opens the door all the way down to the 100 moving average but technical indicators they are fairly mixed we may see a pullback minor pullback mainly due to the reason we are fairly close to the top of the, the main resistant area and also that we are significantly overbought at this point so otherwise um MACD is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the stochastic is uh, turning around here. Still in bullish territory, but it is turning around. So we may see a pullback before continuing higher. So MCHI. So we did rally significantly yesterday. We're down more than half a percent today. So yes, it is selling off. The main reason is that we are significantly overstretched here, or were significantly overstretched outside of the bullish band and also or bought in the RSI. So we may see this pullback towards the 200 moving average down here or the 50 moving average and that's additional drop of give or take 2.4% to the downside. If these moving averages break, then we could see a major drop all the way down to the 300 moving average and that's a drop of 9.3% of to the downside. Otherwise, if we start rallying from here, because we are trading just at the 150, if we break above 100, then we could go back to the very highs, and that's a rally of roughly 16.5% to the upside. So let's look at IBB. So IBB is up 0.11%. We are in the middle of nowhere here in the bullish band. RSI, uh, no, sorry, MACD is flat, RSI is bullish and overbought. And the CCI is also bullish and the stochastic is bullish but crossing the signal line. So we may see a pullback here before going higher. If we were to uh, to rally from here, we'll probably find major resistance around uh, 425. That is the very highest over here. But pullbacks will most likely find massive support down at the 50 moving average. And that's a drop of roughly 1.97% uh, to the downside. So... Hope you find this helpful. Go on and support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.